before you start going on a diet or a weight loss plan, watch this video. So I wanna share with you guys the first thing that I have my clients do that are trying to lose weight do before we do any nutrition changes. And I find that this is the number one thing that most people do wrong when they're trying to go on a diet. This is going to be a helpful first step to make your diet more successful for not only the short term, but for the long term. So that way you're not only losing weight, but you're also maintaining that weight loss. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Jason Rosati with Rosati Strength Systems. I'm a coach and trainer who has lost 50 pounds and have kept it off for the past 10 years. <clears throat> and I was able to do that through a journey where I was first trying out low carb, high cardio type of approaches that most people typically do when they're trying to lose weight to now I do a little bit more of a relaxed style type of working out uh, programming wise and time wise. And now I'm able to eat my favorite foods into my nutrition and weight loss plan itself. And I was able to lose weight and keep it off without it being a huge restrictive issue. And I've been able to share the same thing here with my clients. So I want to go ahead and share what that first step is exactly. So that way you don't need to waste time with a diet that just leads you in that yo-yo cycle where you're losing and gaining the same 10 to 20 pounds over and over. So the main thing that we're trying to do here is we like to do a, a journaling exercise actually. So I have them track their food for a full week and I tell them to try to keep it as realistic as possible. Do not try to do anything restrictive. Do not try to go on a diet or anything like that for this first week. I want you to just genuinely eat to your current base of knowledge and how you feel and what you're currently doing. I don't want you to change anything. And what this allows me to do and us to do together is we're able to see an awareness of their situation and they're able to see it as well. And from there, we're able to make more intelligent changes. So what most people do when they try to lose weight is they go onto a diet. But this is an essential first step because instead of just trying to create a whole entire new routine, you need to first get the routine that you are in now and then make changes to it. You see, as humans and behavior, there's a great book called The Power of Habit. If you learn about habits and behaviors, you'll know that you're not able to just get rid of a habit or add in a new habit. You need to be able to change habits. You need to be able to change your routine. So you need to be able to get a grasp on what that routine is before you just start going into trying to not eat anything fun or tasty or enjoyable and just eat nothing but chicken and broccoli, right? All of that stuff sucks. I'm gonna look at my notes really quick because I have one, a couple of things I wanna make sure that I get to you guys, right? If I got notes, that means that we are not fooling around here today. Okay, so the awareness is super important here. And the second thing that this is really helpful for is it helps you stop mindlessly eating. I was just talking to my client Cam the other day and he said that, you know, there's a lot of times that I don't really notice where I'll just grab random foods in between my meals and I don't really think about it too much. A lot of them is going to be, you know, grabbing snacks at work when the office has free snacks that you can have or free things that you can eat or munch on. You're going to go to those things. When you start tracking and you build an awareness, you start journaling what you're eating it starts to bring on awareness to that situation. Now you're not gonna be mindlessly eating as much anymore, okay? And the third thing is that you can figure out how you like to plan your eating. So we all have, <clears throat> we all have different schedules and we all have different ways that we like to eat based off of our like circadian rhythm, the type of foods that we like, our culture, how we were raised, all of these things take into an effect when it comes to making your perfect nutrition plan. So instead of just trying to go on a diet that is just cookie cutter for anything, what you need to do first is kind of step in a little bit and kind of be your own coach. You know, you look at what you're doing and start to make changes from there. If you need help making the changes and you want to know more about what type of changes will work best, I'll actually walk through you, with you this first week of journaling and we'll make adjustments together. Completely complimentary to you. All you're going to do is just comment down the word coaching and I'll reach out to you personally and we will walk through the first week together. So that way you don't need to yo-yo diet anymore or go on any ridiculous diet. 